Welcome everybody, welcome back to the Discarded Compass and we have a great guest for you now today. It's, uh, my, my Japanese isn't great so you're going to have to bear with me. It's Naho Awada. Am I right? Naho, welcome. How are you? <laughs> thank you, very good. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you so much for, for coming on the show as well. You're in France, are you? You lucky thing. Yes. That's I'm fabulous. Paris. That's lovely. Um, what a lovely place to talk about nothing. And we, I'm in Ireland and we can talk about nothing too. Uh, it's like a subject uh, that you can't talk about. How would you talk about no thing, nothing? Um, but you've been living with this since you were very young. Uh, I, I read a bit about your story. It's fascinating. Usually we develop an ego at three and we, we develop a sense of an I and a me. That didn't happen for you, Naho. Can you talk a bit about that? Yes, yes. Thanks. Um of course, uh, before one year old, Naho was one year old. It, it, of course, I don't, I didn't know, but I just had the story from my mom. Since I was before one, I was in a um, how do you say pusset and um, baby car, oh, baby um, chair. How do you call that? I forgot. <laughs> baby, baby was in that baby um, chair, cart, pram. Yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, she was uh, so afraid and and tense. And uh, almost like a staring at the world and uh, um, almost like, um, you know, you can see the baby is uh, um, not panicking, but um, you can see the stressed so much. And in that sense was um, almost uh, continued till maybe till four or five years old. And uh, was really sensitive baby. And uh, when I was five, I told mom, I want to stop and leave. So um, that when I uh, became three or four, I started to recognize, you know, started to remember that um, to leave or to being, being here, being, um, how can I say, being survive, being live is very um, uh, difficult. And um, that time, of course, didn't have any story. And I was only one child. And my mom, fa ma father, and grandparents was really um, loving. And they, I didn't have any problems. But um, and so um, that sense stayed to teenager when I was 20. And um, always I, I started to looking for the reason why um difficult to survive difficult to live that sense but i didn't have i didn't find any um answer in the life so when i was 26 i met a man who who just had an experience of um how do you say awakening mm -hmm. and then he told me that all suffering come from phantom self and then that was it clicked straight away and um, since then, I start seeking in this message non-duality. But um, so uh, it was so obvious that from here, yeah, here, it was so obvious that um, all suffering didn't come from the story. Because now when Nahu was baby, I, when I was baby, I didn't have much story. But just being somebody, being survive or being, being, have existence was difficult <laughs> so but when I was became teenager I couldn't stop thinking so thinking was going around round round and I wanted to stop stop thinking too but always whenever I go you know thinking comes so um thinking is always with me with Naho so um I kind of knew that suffering is me and uh so that when when I met a man, he so um that time, uh, you know, I was just a normal teenager, so I had a lot of different different you know ideas, and um, you know, as a teenager, many different uh, I could call suffering, but it's just um, uh, feelings and sensations and emotions and stuff like that. But um, I always knew that uh, that isn't. Uh, original cause of suffering. So, um, yeah, so um, 
I started to see 20 persons and then um yeah I just um started to listen to this message a lot and um <laughs> that was a <the> story <laughs> That's quite a story. I mean, there's a lot in that story already. I mean, yeah, what 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 comes into my mind is the the me is is what just what my opinion about things is that it, it's it's heavily identified with the body. Um, so mm -hmm. would we we could say there was body identification there? Is that would that mm -hmm. be right? Exactly. Yes. And uh, here, so obvious that and this this message is so energetic. This isn't about uh, understanding or anything. And then this message is so obvious and so simple. But um, that why the people apparent me seek so st stro uh, strongly, which is um, more, of course, a lot of people don't know about this, but it's come from a sense of self, some sense of um, I am, sense of this body is I am. That as long as that center, is uh, almost like that center generates that um, sense and then that gener that sense generates the story which is life for the person it's, and, it, um, and it's based on ignorance isn't it i mean it just happens it's like it, it's 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 a false self center we could say it's not a exactly, real self center yes. how could <laughs> how could a self center have be false but that's actually what happens isn't it really <laughs> exactly yes yes but then that uh, uh, as, as uh, once it starts it becomes that life or that reality it starts from there so um and then me is so convinced that i am somebody i am lived energetically so we can't find that you know there isn't me it's interesting because anytime i would uh, approach this subject with me's you could say it's very interesting there's only a few answers usually if you ask so if you say to someone put it across to them suggest there's no one there the mind straight away the mind knows that it's being questioned to look at itself and it doesn't want to do that does it yes no no <laughs> <laughs> actually uh, um a seeker, a parent to seeker, that, that isn't really happening, but a um, parent to seeker s believes that I'm seeking for enlightenment or seeking for freedom, but uh, seeking for um, liberation. But actually, it's not just, um, just away from uh, own existence, just wants to, how can I say? Um, me believes that uh, what we want is in the next moment, but actually, um, uh, me what what longs for is the own existence, end of all existence. <laughs> but me can't really seek for that. Yeah, it's it's um, it's quite fascinating uh, that there's no such thing as enlightenment. Really, I mean, the me is based on something came into my mind about time. I was having my dinner this evening and it, the thought about time came into my mind. And I like playing with words. And it was like time. What does that mean? It was like tie me. It's like <laughs> tie me to some sort of an object or a story, isn't it? Right. And it always has to be tied to something, doesn't it, really? Yes, almost like a grab on to everything. It's like, um, you know, make it into something or just attach to something <laughs> but it doesn't exist so how does a seeker approach this as fast and as quickly as possible to get the message <laughs> oh, i don't understand <laughs> what it means <laughs> how, how could a seeker get not enlightened or enlightened or how can the me drop away what would what would you say to a person that really needs to drop away and <laughs> to understand this message? How would you explain it? It's 
this is really um this is so um strange this what's been suggested here what's been sharing because actually it's even nothing is sharing it's just what is appearing and uh Sika doesn't exist and uh, nothing is really happening but then that um uh so what's been suggested is already so um as soon as me arises and me starts me has to move to some somewhere that is um uh that is strange that isn't really happening too but to the me it's reality to the seeker feels reality but it's not happening is it so simple to say that hearing happens like uh, what the me could say is i'm hearing you that's what a me would say but there's right. just hearing happening isn't there just exactly yes yes so so in in it's not in the end but you know nothing needs to be happen nothing nothing nothing, nothing Even needs to happen nothing it's actually it's nothing is happening just it is but it seemingly seemingly um question appears and then where that question appears is this apparent to seeker appears and then the question appears <laughs> so uh, but it's really um um it's really it's not happening that way but i um how can i say this when i speak about um apparent to me it's really sense it's really sense that i am somebody and then when when you look at the news so you know everything then it's apparent to, you know, stories appearing and then apparent to things happening. <laughs> so, <laughs> can I, it's interesting you say the, the me, it feels so real, and that, that is so true in a way, falsely true. Um, but mm-hmm. can I take you back to, I get a sense of that in your story as such that when you met Tony, you had that sense of me. Uh, and what happened when you met Tony? And how did that last sense of self fall away for you? Um, actually, um, that, um, when I met Tony, I didn't actually, I didn't know any about spirituality. I thought this non-duality is Tony's message at the beginning. So I didn't know anything about non-duality, anything about spirituality, anything about uh, um, uh, religion or anything like that. So um, for two years, and also my English wasn't really, uh, not like now, and uh, I didn't understand for two years. <laughs> and then I keep going back to see Tony, but I didn't have understood anything. But um, so... Uh, uh, I started to understand something about non-duality and uh, other people start speaking too, and I started to know what's going on. But uh, this uh, apparent sense of self falls away isn't something that's happening in the story. So um, actually, the story isn't happening. I mean, so- like a story falls away, energetic story was falls away, and uh, it never. It never happened before. So you could you're you're saying the false me, nothing uh-huh. ha- nothing happened. Nothing happened. That's very difficult for anyone to understand that nothing happened. Something must not have happened. Mm-hmm. What, what so didn't happen? This is so 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 interesting <laughs> that. <laughs> so uh, nothing is happening is a constant thing. Nothing is happening, constantly nothing is happening, and apparently nothing is being this. It's constant, only constant. But to the me, it's something happening, it's reality. What people would not, what happened for me in my search was people would say nothing is happening, and I would say, yeah, there's nothing happening. It would be a mental, there's nothing happening. It's like <laughs> if you said to someone, there's nothing it's a mental nothing. It's still something. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's not idea. It's not understanding. It's just description as it is. 
this isn't an understanding. So it's opposite. You know, people think that um, after enlightenment, uh, um, something's going to appear or liberation's going to appear, but actually opposite. That some, the me existing, believing that I exist, never was. So almost like a, you could say disappear, but really it doesn't disappear because it's already constantly there isn't. Because, yeah, that's quite interesting. There's no understanding because understanding is mind again. And then you're talking to people that want to understand. So an enlightened person doesn't, you could say enlightened person, we'll have to use them terminologies to describe things. But you could say an enlightened being doesn't understand anything. And that that's quite interesting because they're neither not there or they're neither the absence or the presence. They're not the presence or they're not the absence. It's, mm -hmm. it's like that the mind can't understand that 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 no. that can't be understood because it, it you can't understand it but mm -hmm. how can you reach not understanding trying to understand something like that <laughs> you can't <laughs> there isn't there isn't anything to understand in the first place that's the thing that um for me it's everything that um, uh, me believes 100% that you can get something with understanding or um, there is something more is real to me. But there isn't. What's life like for you now, living in um, a space where there's no understanding? A, yeah, there isn't any uh, life or there isn't any something. It's just what is happening, which isn't limited. We often hear what's, it's just what's happening for no <laughs> one. And then we hear that there's nothing happening. So uh -huh. we hear on one hand, there's nothing happening. And then uh -huh. a seeker is told, on the other hand, it's what's happening. And I'm just being the devil's advocate here because it's quite interesting to talk about. It's really fascinating. Even that aspect, there's nothing happening and it's only what's happening. That's very confusing yeah. to hear. Yes. <laughs> seemingly only seemingly <clears throat> happening nothing ever happened and just this seemingly and happening this okay yeah it's constant but this is nothing and because seemingly happening means that it's constantly seemingly <laughs> happening it's coming <laughs> in and out of existence would that be correct no um that is actually my mental understanding i think it's just uh, this, and constantly, whatever that is, is this. So, um, uh, how can I say? Because um, when we think of something happening, it means there's time. Yeah, um, seemingly happening. For example, this computer is happening, like a computer is appearing. Careful, careful. Appearing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I moved. <laughs> Don't break your computer. <laughs> but um, this computer isn't something. Just nothing is appearing as that. And then you can't say really, um, how can I say? Um, it's, um, it's always this. You can't really say, um, well, actually, you can't describe this. <laughs> because it's constantly... Here, constantly, only this, whatever that is. So beyond that, isn't isn't true. <laughs> beyond that, it's just a concept. A concept. And concept means like conceptualization. It's a con job, isn't it? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yes. So, for example, so for the to describe something like a uh, you know um, you know energies keep changing or whatever, that is concept already. Would it help if the ego gets is constantly given nothing? Is that the quickest way to enlightenment for people to keep hearing this message where they can't get anything, and eventually the ego gives up, the apparent ego gives up. <laughs> So um, that is what really um, Sika wants to hear or Sika wants to get. But actually, Sika can't, can't hear, Sika doesn't exist. 
<laughs> so, um, so you are already perfect, apparent seeker appearing, but life is appearing as a seeker, and which isn't really seeker, which isn't really happening. So, uh, this is, um, it's so hard to speak, it's not happening. When time falls away, I mean, there has to be a clue. This has to be so obvious in a way, because if, enlight oh. if enlightenment was real and it was such a thing that an event that had to happen, and if, it, if enlightenment was so important anyway and it was such a big deal and enlightenment is the be all and end all of everything, it would have happened already, wasn't it? wouldn't it? Mm. But actually, me, that's not enlightenment. That's the thing. You know, this is the only, this is the only obviousness. <laughs> Actually, enlightenment is the most obvious thing. Enlightenment oh. is the most obvious thing. Obvious thing. There are people yeah. out there now going, <laughs> what, where is it? It's here somewhere and I have to find it. Like, Actually, the most obvious thing and then the only thing, there is the only thing that enlightenment how can I say? Revelation is the only thing. <laughs> How can I say this in English? Enlightenment. Most, the only, only obvious thing. Only thing exists. Yeah, I, th I think I get what you're saying. It's, it's the most obvious thing. It's so obvious. It's, yes, it's just yes. this. And this means that's it. There's nothing exactly. else to be said. Um, exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to say about this. I, I've, no, like, I've no idea. Have you an idea what to say about it? No, so this you really can't describe this. It just is. So that's why. So um, uh, I think that's why. Uh, again, that the part of the seeker gets frustrated about this because when when the speaker say only obvious thing, then that um, that makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if it was really difficult, then they could really get to town, going to town on it, trying to find it. It's like we, we've hidden it so well, and it's like I got to really find this. But if they, mm -hmm. if you tell them, you know, it's don't tell them, but it's in their pocket, <laughs> you know. But you know, it's like the diamond in the pocket. That story, you know, it's quite, it's quite a good story. Um, energetically, so it's an energetic thing you're saying. So everything is sort of energy, isn't it? Really. Um, and I, lo yes. I love the electricity analogy uh, because, you know, it's like we are that power, that electricity and it, electricity can't be known. Yet it's so it's so obvious. It's so there. Mm -hmm. And that life mm -hmm. force powers you, you could say, powers the body there. And it's the same life force powers this body. Um, mm -hmm. That's sort of really I thought that would be obvious to people anyway. You know, I thought that all my mm -hmm. life. I mean, I thought that's quite obvious, but obviously it isn't. But um that's so difficult for a person to understand, to to try and drop into or things drop away. Does, med med does meditation help uh, for the energetic <laughs> cluster to drop? So the, the point is that it's already, what's been said is already, nothing needs to be done and it's already. It's just only illusion can't see the obviousness. So illusion can't see the obviousness. It means illusion. So that's why it doesn't really need to see actually, because it's already doesn't exist. But to the illusion is to the illusion. Illusion is real. Somebody. So um, from there, of course, can't be seen because it's in a way. <laughs> it's in a way. In a way, it's sort of like what you're saying. What I'm hearing in a way is like saying what's real is false. What do you mean? What's what's real is false. It, it when you were talking there, it kind of came into my mind. It was like whatever you think is real is actually false. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we think we're really but, real. But don't actually, we? that that thought itself is already freedom. So thought also is it? False idea also is it? Illusion also is it? So nothing, nothing needs to be changed. Nothing can change. Now so that makes it worse for the seeker. That makes it completely <laughs> worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible message. Is there any hope in this message for anyone? No, no. 
actually hope is that um, hope is just appearing as a hope, just energetic sense of I need more. I mean, like hope isn't real hope to the me. Me, me feels that this is hope, but actually that energetic sense of I don't have enough appear as a hope, I think. But that's it as well, isn't it? That's freedom too. <laughs> what? <laughs> what can you say? I mean, it's terrible news in a way. And the terrible... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, it's horrible. <laughs> But, uh, and how know, can you tell uh, a secret that's seeking for 30 years that the terrible news is also it? It's like they'll crack up. Um, but, but the great news is that uh, there is nobody in it. And then it's great news. <laughs> yeah. Yes, really great news, Dave. But then for nobody, because this is more, the most natural thing. Then it's the not great news. Then it's not even great news. <laughs> <laughs> because it's for no one I'm just going through the scenarios really because it can be terrible news and that's it it's great news and that's not it and the bad news isn't it it's like we can't find a landing place in this thing of course not because it's there isn't any landing place because it's everything there isn't really you can't put the finger in it on, on it in it it's just everything and then there is no center. There is no position. There isn't anything. So I'm hearing what's coming up in my mind, the word freedom. Is mm -hmm. that, I'm nearly scared to say, is that freedom? <laughs> freedom. <laughs> freedom for what? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it's just, um, you know, from the speaker, you know, it's a, uh, can be freedom because so there's no freedom and there's no hope yes there's no freedom there's no hope <laughs> but this is this is a freedom if i would say but it's it's really uh if there isn't something free then this is a freedom but it's all free it's all everything no restriction. No restriction. Yeah, I used to think that everything is allowed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But then allowed is almost like a restriction already. <laughs> it sounds like it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's easy, it's easy to see these words when you're talking from the place where you're talking from. It's easy uh -huh. to use the words lightly and to see through them because you're talking from that space that's even does that sounds like a lie as well but what can you say as soon as we start to talk about this it's like everything is a lie isn't it i know yes it's not true whatever you whatever that was say but that also it's just a happen why do you talk about this uh, no, no point <laughs> no point but it's happening. That's the that's the beauty of this. It's a, and then people think people ask why do you ha why do you speak? But actually, it's not only this this uh, this conversation. Everything. Why? 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 It's just happening. Is there a sense of time there for you? Understand that there is like a seven o'clock. I have yeah. a, you know this meeting or whatever. But it's not a sense of um time uh it's just um how can i say the brain understand what is going on but i just um um what it is um, um there is no time apparent time like a 7 p.m appear but there isn't time do we need what's timeless for time to happen so uh, there isn't a time, but <laughs> apparently until seven o'clock appears. So people call it time. So does the timelessness allow time to happen? A timelessness allow. Actually, again, allow is it's almost like a like a, it's in a base, but timelessness appear apparent to time. It's not come from anything. It, no, nothing come from nothing. So it's it's nothing appear as time. So nothing appears as time. Mm -hmm. Apparent time. There isn't time, but apparent time. 
7 p.m. is a parent time. Doesn't mean doesn't mean there is a time. 7 p.m. doesn't mean there is a time. If there really was time, there couldn't be <laughs> there couldn't be a 7 p.m. Could there? <laughs> yes. yes. Because yes, yes. it would just be 7 p.m. forever. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. So uh, it's like a concept. You know, concept time, you know, brain can understand this is, you know, yesterday or 7 p.m. or understand that there isn't time. You know, it's so difficult to explain this because it's not concept, concept here. It's just there's no time. But concepts are all we have to use to to free the <laughs> me. Um, it, it's quite fascinating that that actually happens and and why does why does it and it's quite interesting because people could say you're awake and i want to be awake and what's the difference between you and someone that's not awake living in india somewhere um you know? <laughs> only difference only if there is a difference only to the me Apart to me, which isn't really existing, but to the me, there is a difference. You and me and there and here, but there isn't. There is no um, separation. So is there a difference then between you and that person in India that's not awake? There isn't. It's the same. Because um, there isn't anybody. There seems to be a lot of emphasis for a seeker on no one there, nobody, oh, yes, you know, yes, doesn't there yes. seem to be a lot of, a lot of emphasis on that sort of, uh, it, it's said by a lot of non-dual speakers, there's no one there, it's happening for no one. And it's very easy for a seeker to slip into the fact that, you know, no mm. one, nobody, no one, no one there, but <laughs> may, maybe, maybe that's actually create, creating the me's, you know? Maybe so, but actually, actually, um, you know, in a way, that different way of saying is just this, is there is nobody. So just this, there is this, is means nobody. Definitions. We always look, we always look for definitions to define what, what she's saying now. She's saying there's just this. So it's yes. like, okay, what is this? This is just this. Okay, that doesn't do anything for me. Um. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, just it has to, you know, the world is so divided. So me can just take it into um, own knowledge and then turn into something else. It's constantly happening that. So when me yeah. hear that, oh, I have to be nobody, I'm going to be nobody, that becomes the aim. But that doesn't mean that the world is work bad or shouldn't we shouldn't use that word it's nothing to do with that actually much more energetic as long as somebody feel i am somebody in the center from there everything generates then becomes something that energy of center generates that um, illusion <laughs> yeah i would say but that isn't really happening. It's really, hap it doesn't really happen. But the seemingly to the me, it's something like that. And that seemingly think that it's happening is a bit like when, it, when a seeker is seeking, a non-dual speaker will suggest something like there's nobody there and there's just this happening. And straight away, the mind will go and think, what is this? How do I understand this? I think what can kind of help is history is like his story and the person always goes back to that library that historic library of events and and happenings to sort of associate something that you've said now to the past so mm -hmm. it's a bit like the mind always gives a, an mm -hmm. historic view it actually i would think that egos ruin everything you say <laughs> into something turn into something that's why we really can't hear what's been said because 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 it's uh, so obvious and uh um can't this can't turn into anything <laughs> but um almost like a me is living on reality uh, putting into own reality and then um change into something else and then you know then again, thinking about about that. 
it's like you hand <laughs> it's like you hand someone a lovely present <laughs> right now and they take it they turn their back and they ruin it and they hand it back to you it doesn't happen here it's it's it doesn't really happen in here even it gives me back it really doesn't it's not happening here just yeah. uh, on self it's just um how can i say ruin it and then um how can i say it's almost like um how, how do you call it um dough it's like uh, oh yeah it makes a dough it makes bread it makes something <laughs> out of it or oh, it makes it into something else yeah yeah <laughs> Yes, yeah, continue yeah. doing that. And then me believes if I continue a little bit more, a little bit more, something might happen. That actually to the Naho also never stopped. As long as me is there, never stop the idea. Maybe if I understand a little bit more, something might happen. Can't stop that. That's energetic. That energy generates that idea. Mm -hmm. Something else might happen. But that isn't true. It just generates that and energetically being generated. Yeah, it's it's the mind is minding the 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 body. It's it's so slippery and so so um baffling the mind is and baffling and powerful. Oh I'm sure, yes. I mean, yes, yes. Like a mental suffering and it becomes energetic and then that creates uh, like a contracted feeling like um yes really suffering can be suffering yeah so no. it's serious as well i mean like you said there when you were younger it's like you you wanted to to stop to to get out of the story or the the i mean i don't think anybody arrives on this path really unless they've had some sort of spiritual sudden awakening but usually people suffer and mm -hmm. What about love and compassion in this? Is Does that happen for you uh, in the story of helping people talking about this? Um, so uh, that is, uh, if that appears, that's the appear, that is life is appearing that way. And it's not personal. And uh, it's not really happening again. It's, um, for example, that any emotion, any sensation can arise. But that isn't, to, there is no story about it. What would you say to someone that's really suffering and the, and the story is heavy? I mean, just to say it, it's what's happening. I mean, you couldn't really say that it, to be terrible. News. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say to the person maybe, but um, I really can't see that uh, somebody's really suffering. There is nobody, so um, you know, but people can describe that, but it's not true. Is that true compassion? that you could see someone that's really, really suffering with a heavy story and actually say that there's nobody really there. Is mm -hmm. I, I'm just making, I'm just going through this for, from certain things that I've read. Is that mm -hmm. true compassion? Um, true compassion is this. This is unconditional love. True compassion, unconditional love is only this. You can't really... Um, you know, it's almost already if that's uh, almost like a who is here, somebody's here suffering, it's already a story. It just, um, if that situation appears, that is um, already um, compassion already. And there is nobody to be so uh, saved or there is nobody needs a salvation. That is compassion. That is love. That's a big pill to swallow for for people honestly to say if they have a loved one that's suffering to to think it that way that you know that really it isn't it's happening for nobody this is this is really tough for for people too um because there's a lot of suffering in the world and maybe in a way if we try and help someone with their story, it, it it could make the story worse. I, I I don't really know how 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 to approach things like this, but here I, I'll help if I can, and I won't if I don't. Um, you know, what about uh, changing the world and and helping people and making it a better place to live in? Actually, that isn't going anywhere. That is seemingly happening, and it's perfect. There isn't anything perfect. It's everything is perfect, but doesn't mean that is happening. <laughs> So everything is perfect, 
even though it seems imperfect? Exactly. Yes, there's only perfection. It doesn't mean it's good or it doesn't really mean perfect, but just as it is. Is unconditional love. It is um, perfection, but doesn't mean it has. It's not. It's moving to somewhere. It's not. It really. It's not moving. It's not really creating anything. So ultimate perfection, we can never understand. Would that be right? No, nobody understands. Here, also nobody's here. Nobody understands that. Just there is perfection. I mean, like there is justice. <laughs> Yes, just this and this is nothing. Would it be correct to say it's no thing besides nothing? Would that be easier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no thing. Yes, no thing. Because the mind always tries to objectify and put something in a box and box uh -huh. it up and say, OK, we've got to process this. We'll have a committee meeting in my head about it, where to put it, uh -huh. what to refer it to. Because she said there's perfection. So the mind will go, OK, perfection. OK, that goes to something is always good. So this is fantastically mm -hmm. good and perfect. This is great. This is the way it should be. Mm -hmm. But that's not what you're saying, is it? No, I just, um, um, yes, it's really difficult to express this because perfect doesn't mean perfect. But uh, it's just a completion constantly. For example, helping people is completion. Helping people is perfection. And not helping people is perfect too. And then suffering, of, I'm sorry, but suffering is also perfection appearing as a suffering. So uh, I just um, see, well, it's not seeing, but just perfection in this way. And what about love then? Does love mean less for you or does it mean more? Uh, there is no less and, um, less and more. It just, um, how can I say, of course, emotion can arise. I didn't say before. So somebody, a, a talented person, you know, suffering here, then might help, might not help, appears, and the emotion might appear, maybe tear appears. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, I forgot about what's a question. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is is love is love more or less for you? Oh, okay. So love emotion is um I don't know. It's just um whatever that moment appears, then that's it's not anymore somebody's emotion. It's not uh, how can I say whatever that is happening. It's the same as like a computer is happening here. So life goes on more or less the same as it would for anybody else. For as it does for you now? Um, it's not for me. It's just, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, how can I say life goes on? Um, in a way, it's completely different. It's uh, nobody's living. It's just what is happening. Is there a feeling of bliss, samadhi? Do you drop into samadhi or? <laughs> So that's what that's um, me wants to hear, I think. <laughs> but it's not that case. It's very, um, how can I say this? Uh, is, it's not personal sense. This isn't a personal uh, feeling of good or bad or right and wrong or um, nice feeling. It's, um, I would say, everything is unconditional love. So that is a... Uh, thing that uh, um, how can I say it's not centered so it's not really emotion <laughs> can't be can't be described this and what about an ultimate being like God and you know people say there's seven stages ultimately to enlightenment um, and then people say that as soon as they've gone through them seven stages, all that's left for them is sort of drinking a cup of coffee and going for a walk. Yes, yes, very ordinary in that way. Yes, yes, already. But that story is beautiful, but uh, it's almost like uh, something going through in this story, but it's not, really it's not. It's already, so nobody is seeking. That's the thing. So almost like a, 
you know, seeking story appears, then it's almost like a seeking story happens. And it's this speaking is happening in a way. It's like a seeking and then the speaking happens or, you know, around the seeking story, this speak is happening, this sharing is happening, but actually seeking isn't happening. So uh, there is no step. Mm, seeking isn't happening. That's quite interesting. Uh-huh. Apparent seeking is happening, but it's not and like me feels. It's not happening that way, like that. So are people better off just not bothering to seek? That thing, that's uh, that's what me think. But actually, me can't stop. Apparently, me can't stop, which isn't really happening, but that can't stop. Do you hear this message or can't stop going to the next moment? Can't stop to look for something else than this. But interesting thing is that just there is only there is only thing is this but and also only thing what me longs for is this but what me is constantly doing is i don't like this i don't like this i don't like this so it's kind of like a denying what's been longed for so uh this is interesting thing it's um constantly What's been longed for is this, only this, and there is only this. But apparent, illusionally seeking, illusionally me, it doesn't like this. Whatever me does, it's um almost like a denying, almost like a escaping from what it's already. So almost like an excuse. Question is almost like an excuse that I want to continue seeking. <laughs> Sorry to say this. So even a silly question or a, a, a most profound question, they're sort of the same thing, aren't they, really? Mm. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. But I would say that Chris, I, I said that this, uh, this like a me's point of view, but actually question is perfectly appealing. There isn't any stupid or bad or good. It it's doesn't apparently exist. stupid and apparently, apparently profound and apparently stupid. But <laughs> because when you, when you say that, we start changing things, you know? <laughs> yes. Because the me will say, okay, she said it's not really, it's just apparently happening. Okay, I get it now. It's only apparently happening. And what's the next question? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but there isn't, um, again, this isn't understanding. That's why, that's why response appears, question appears, that seemingly happy, happening. And at the same time, it's not really happening. So, um, how can I say? Um, but on, not only this, it's in everything. But me believes, you know, after this question or after the re- response, something might happen. That's the illusion. And a question also is appearing, not somebody is questioning. Nobody's question, nobody's answer. And that's it. In a nutshell. Mm-hmm. And there is some sort of resonance when you're talking about this. There's some there's nearly an understanding. Uh-huh. And when you when you're talking about it, it's it feels as if there's it feels as if there's an understanding, but there isn't. And there's like a there's nothing that can be said about it when you're talking like that, really. Exactly, yes, yes. Understanding can appear, but it doesn't lead to anything. It's just the life is appearing as understanding. But to the me, it's my understanding. <laughs> yeah. And when you say understanding is just this happening too, can we talk about, uh, you know, I'm, I'm saying this to, to maybe just put questions across again. Can we talk about this, what you mean by this? It's everything can't be described nobody knows nobody knows this just uh, this it's quite a mystery isn't it because when we're taught from an early age we're taught to learn how things are and we actually go to school to learn to put things in boxes 
I mean, I was saying to my daughter the other day, I, I said, it's like that. They call that a tree. I mean, yes. what is it really, yes. you know? And then we got different names for different shapes of trees and there's different parts of trees and one part is a branch and one part is a trunk. Where does the tree yeah. trunk start and the branch start? I mean, <laughs> you know, it's a bit like a thought. Where does it start and finish? It mm. can't be defined, can it? No, no, it's, it's a, in a way, in this way also, it's obvious. And um, this is complete mystery, constantly mystery. And then um, can't be found because there is nobody to found, find. But um, uh, apparent to me doesn't like that. Apparent to me doesn't like that. And then me is constantly looking for the answer, constantly looking for to know. If a person became the world champion and they suddenly discovered enlightenment and they became the world champion of enlightenment and they found the, the prize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's impossible. That's impossible. <laughs> Never, nobody ever find this. <laughs> <laughs> but if they did um they find if they did get the gold medal at the the enlightenment olympics we'll say um yeah that, if that happened then that is almost like an enlightenment story for for example like a guru think that a guru thought that a guru found the enlightenment it's very similar to that and there's a lot of that going on, yeah, yeah. But what would they do with enlightenment? Pretend that they found a thing called enlightenment. It's I like know, what, you know, what, one time when I went to the temple, hmm. that the priest suggested to me to give me a certificate of enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> so really exists still that kind of idea in the parlant Buddhist story. And he gave you a certificate? Yeah, try to. Oh, did you? I said that I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so you graduated or you didn't graduate yes they, they thought oh you're really good and then I will give you an enlightenment certificate you should have kept that certificate now <laughs> yeah that would be very interesting to see that tonight <laughs> yeah you maybe we wanted to see how what, what it is <laughs> <laughs> and we, we all seriousness though uh, um, seriously though yeah if somebody did become enlightened and they found enlightenment and they found a position in a, or the, the gold medal, we could call it, wouldn't that be hell? Um, I mean, like, uh, I wouldn't say hell. It's because that is simply appearing and it's not really happening. But then that's, um, it's the same as apparent to me. You know, me is in that... Uh, Apparent, contracted, constructed uh, reality, and then it's reality. So you so said, that, and energetically, does the me have to vanish, or can it just be seen, quite simply, that this is it? it in a way, it's nothing is happening. Nothing need to be happen, but at the same time. Uh, to the me, it's very serious because that sense is reality. If that sense is a reality, then that I feel the suffering. Even even somebody say that isn't happening, you know, if I say it's not happening and if it's not uh, real, but that to the apparent to me, it's a reality. So uh, I understand that. Uh, you know, seemingly that's that's how it appears. But in the real sense, it's really just uh, not really happening. But you know, understanding appears here too. Understand, because understanding it, appears for you. Uh, understanding here appears. That's that's the you know this, this uh, expression needs a suffering. Oh yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not much understanding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't understand really, but I'm trying to. Um, I'm sorry, maybe it's too complicated. It's just a, uh, how can I say? It's really not happening. 
It's really not happening. So you, say, you have to say in a while ago that it was happening and now you're saying it's not happening. <laughs> so happening and not happening. And then in a sense that suffering isn't really happening. I can't understand that. Um, but I, it's just suffering seems so real when someone's going through a tough time. It's so just, so in that we mean it, understand the suffering is happening. That's the thing that, uh, you know, uh, the expression of uh, suffering can be seen, you know, and this, like a computer, computer and apparent pain and, uh, you know, expression of suffering can appear. So I'm getting the feeling of if there's suffering happening, if it was real, as in real reality, it wouldn't be happening. Because it's not real, it seems to be mm. happening. Yes. So yes. anything that's yeah. happening and anything that seems to be real isn't really happening. It's only exactly. what isn't real and what isn't happening is real. Exactly. So um, so what? So people maybe uh, misunderstand it when I say illusion and then happening and not happening. Illusion is really me. Me isn't really happening like me think. So it's not in some we all, me, doesn't exist, but everything that's an expression or pain or emotion and um, sense is happening and not happening. <coughs> so in a way, not happening. So suffering is happening and not happening. It's kind of like... Um... So apparent suffering because nobody ever suffered. Nobody ever suffered, but there's no, there's nobody that's suffering, okay? But suffering happens. Yes. So it example, doesn't make a difference then to the person, whether there's a me or not, because it's just suffering is happening. And if you said, look, you're <laughs> suffering and there's no one there, they'd say, yeah, but I'm still suffering. I don't care. <laughs> but that doesn't, that is understanding. So it's maybe it doesn't work that way to the me. That is maybe works, but not maybe not works. And the me is quite interesting. What is the me? Is it a name? I mean, it can't really be defined anyway, can it? If we look for a me to label it just ordinarily without the search for enlightenment, it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. what is a me? It's your name. Well, you could be named something else, couldn't you? Well, yeah, I could. So, you know, <laughs> it's so obvious really in a way. <laughs> yes, so obvious. Yes, so obvious. There's lots of holes in this idea of a person, of a of an ego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And it's not constant. It's not constant. The body isn't no. constant. What is constant? Because there has to be something that's constantly there for this to appear. There isn't anything, just this. But this is only what's appearing. Yes, nothing and being, everything is only constant. So what's real is nothing. Mm? What's real is that nothingness. Don't know. Nobody knows. Okay, so this is in. So you don't know what the nothingness is, but there is something. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows nothingness. So it yeah, comes. during it's the only... search, this is quite interesting because during the search, it was like. You know, you're, you're trying to understand the nothing. But if you think back to what you were before you were born, you can't remember it. It's a uh -huh. bit like you're there, but you won't know you're there. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Nobody knows. Yes. That really makes sense of. Uh -huh. You're not, you're not the absence and you're not the presence. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That's, that's really no one there, isn't it? Exactly. You're not the presence and you're not the absence. <laughs> Justice. That's like, it's way, way bigger than my mind anyway, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yet that allows all this just to happen. It allows this supposedly John to talk to you and you talk to me and and it doesn't mean anything. No. So, is there a purpose to life? 
No, <laughs> there is no life in that way. <laughs> so this is just, what do they say? There was a, a word for this that gurus would use. It's like the play of, um, of Maya. Maya? Yeah. It, it's really nothing. Nothing. Nothing being everything. And you can't say anything. Do you know what happens here, by the way, is sort of um, getting a feel for, for this and uh, sort of a feel for this is just what's happening, you know, in a way. And a lot of the constructs fell away from me in, in a way. And but what happens here is there's more of a of a passion f mm. to, to do whatever I want to do. It's a bit like you become an artist in your own life. Mm. Not to really keep on to any paintings. It's just, you might as well, if it's just a play of whatever, you might as well act as best as you can. <laughs> just for the hell of it. <laughs> Maybe people think that way, but, you know, that's again, that me, um, you know, that's the thing that uh, you might as well. It's almost like, um, uh, like almost like a benefit in <laughs> Well, I'll I'll benefit for a while, um, but I know. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with benefiting. But, but just a, just appears like a me likes that. Well, I, if I do succeed now and again, it's it's quite joyful. Um, yes, 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 yes. You know, it, it just become. You would describe like uh, becomes more free or you know, something. Yeah, it's like the handbrake is off. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it's uh, just uh, spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous, spontaneous would be the thing. There's certainly mm. less fear. Um, there's there's less there's less fear. Yeah. Um, mm, mm, is that mm. a benefit? Don't know. Um, yes, I mean like um, everything. And and then me think that um, less fear might be good, or spontaneous might be good, or um, you know less um, con you know, but less more. Or you can't really say it's everything, and um, it's uh, I can always say oh, it's all perfect, but doesn't mean it's perfect. How does it feel for you now if you can't put words on this? Does it, do you get frustrated? Is it difficult for you? Uh, no, just the words doesn't come out. <laughs> Maybe body reactions say, but um, that's what is happening. This is also perfect. I mean, everything. Now it's been it's been quite. Uh, I, I was going to say enlightening, but I won't. Talking to <laughs> <So, laughs> you know, this conversation doesn't lead to anything. If it's leading to something, doesn't it means something else, right? It's already before start this conversation, and then, apart from now, it's the same. So it leaves us with just this. Yes. And that's all there is, and that's it. And uh, and it's and it's it's enough, isn't it? It's it's. How could it be any different? I mean, we didn't design this, and it's it, as you say. There's a feeling of it being perfect. Yes, but this is it, it, for to, to the me. It's boring, but this is amazing. This is love, or what's been wonderful. So you're, you're home. Yes, yeah, you could say home, but yes, there is nobody, but there's only home. <laughs> there's nobody happily home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is, it's so beautiful. This is amazing, but uh, it doesn't mean a really amazing feeling, but oh, you can't describe this. <laughs> Naho, thank you so much for, for coming on the show. And it's been a joy talking to you. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. 
And you have a website, uh, nahoawada.com. Uh-huh. And you have a book written, I think. Is it always yeah. in that state? Uh, it's called uh, Between the Lines. Let's see now. Between the Lines. Oh, yeah, okay. Between the Lines, Suffering as Well is Not Natural. Is that it? Oh, that is uh, in Japanese. Yeah, I just thought I mentioned that. Uh, and Message for Love, is that in, that's in Japanese as well. Which one? Message from Love. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That is all. The English the one is... <laughs> yeah, but, but the English one is Between the Lines. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. Only that one. <laughs> And you do the retreats at now and talks and stuff? Oh, yes, yes. Um, I forgot the date, beginning of October. First week or second week and ninth, I think. I don't remember. It would be on your website, would it? Yes, yes. And a new website is happening today or tomorrow. I forgot. Maybe it's already it's on that time. but it's the same nahowada.com I think nahowada.com I really, I really don't know you know it's just the people help me do these things <laughs> so I don't know but yes uh, uh, new new site is happening and uh, uh, the retreat is happening in uh, October apparently and wh- where are you holding the retreat? Um, here <laughs> Paris Yes, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, online. online. Oh, okay, retreat. online. You have virtual retreats? Yes, virtual retreat. Okay. Yeah. Naho, thank you so much and thank you for this. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Thank you.